back. And I have, I have my bird. <laughs> I have my bird. Hit the bell so you get our, our videos. Ah. I'm gonna start over. Oh no. Oh no. Hi and welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen. My name is Tina Bear. And if you are new to our show, please subscribe, give us a like, comment, let us know what you think. Today we are going to be doing some meal prepping for breakfast. If you are busy like me or a lot of people, or even if you're not and you want to plan ahead, we are going to make a breakfast casserole. We're going to slice it up and make burritos out of it, pop them in the freezer, and then whenever we are hungry or just want some protein in the morning, we're going to grab one, nuke it, and gobble it up. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we heated up the Instapot to saute. We're going to add some oil and a little bit of butter. Oh, I don't have a little spoon. There's no spoon. I don't have a spoon to scrape everything out. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sis. That's, that's a little elf running around the kitchen. My sister, Andy. And that's nice and hot. We're going to go ahead and add some onion. And if you like Western omelets, you'll like everything in here. We also added um, some bacon right here. And we're going to go ahead and render the bacon and the onion together. Just like that. Give that a little stir. Oh, it already smells so good. So yummy. Now this is so easy because when it comes out, we're going to cook it in the springform pan. When it comes out, we're just going to slice it, roll it up in the uh, tortillas. You could use sun-dried tomato, spinach tortillas, whole wheat. Mm, so good. Then we're going to go ahead and throw bell pepper. Yank. Just like that. And this is about seven ounces of ham. If you have ham left over from holidays or in your freezer, just pull out whatever leftover ham you have. If you want to use turkey ham or turkey bacon, you could use that. I love that too. It's so good. And we're just going to stir it around a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder. If you want to use fresh garlic, go right ahead. This is like a tiny bit of garlic on my scale of garlic. Loving. So you can see that the onions are starting to soften. That is about all you need to do. And then we're going to stop it. Hit cancel. We're going to turn this off and then we're going to add in the potato. Now these are frozen seasoned um, home fried potatoes. You could use hash browns. You could have your own uh, leftover potatoes and you just stir them in. You could use sweet potatoes. That sounds good. I kind of wish I did that today, but we're going to stir that in. And then you want to make sure that you spray your springform pan pretty good because it will stick. Or maybe line it with some parchment. Just like that. And then we are going to mix the eggs. Oh, I, I need to mix the eggs in a big bowl. A nice big bowl. Maybe if I close my eyes for a minute, a bowl will appear in front of me. Let me see. <gasps> what? What? How? It 
when I say big, <laughs> I mean go larger, go home. <laughs> so we have seven eggs. <laughs> here is a four. We'll just crack some more in here. And normally I would just go ahead and whisk. I would whisk everything. <laughs> when I say go big or go long, <laughs> I only mean with a bowl. <laughs> okay, let's get this cooking. <laughs> So we are going to crack the eggs, then we're going to add some heavy cream. Um, I would also put some salt and pepper. I would put salt and pepper in this. Or maybe my little elf will put salt and pepper in it for me. So good. There it is. Oh, look. Look at you. Thank you. I was able to read your mind. You read my mind completely. Oh, boy. Salt and pepper. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. You know. Ooh, I love fresh ground pepper. And salt. I gotta stand away from the bowl. There you go. Some salt. Just to whatever you like. Salt to whatever you like. Give that a zhuzh. Perfect. Okay. So you, I have the cheese here. I'm only gonna put, now that this is cooled down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put just about half of the cheese, like that. I'm gonna stir it around. And I'm gonna take this mixture and I'm gonna pour it into the egg mixture. Just like that. So now you can see it's turning into a casserole. All right, I gotta see all of it. I want every little drop. Just like that. I'm gonna stir it up. Get everything coated. And then I have another pot and then you're going to go ahead and pour the mixture there you go and you just add that all in there oh so delicious so easy we're going to top it with some more cheese who doesn't like cheese well some people don't but i love cheese then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the trivet. Gonna add a cup of water, cause you need water. Woo! Don't worry if it leaks a little bit. It won't, it won't spew out. Just like that. We're gonna cook it for 20 minutes on high. And then we'll let it naturally release for 10 minutes. Take it out. You don't need to cover it with, with uh, tin foil. It's gonna come out perfect, solid. It's gonna be delicious. So this is what I did. I went ahead and let it naturally release after 20 minutes, took it out, put it on a carving board so I could cut it, and look at how beautiful it holds up. 
I mean, I guess you could call it a casserole or a quiche. It's just beautiful. I will start in the middle and then work my way out. Look at that. Yum. And you just take them, scoop them up, make little burritos or big burritos, whatever you want. Just like that. Is that perfect? And then you're just going to keep making them. And then you're going to pop them into the freezer, wrap them in parchment paper, or if you have any um, freezing bags or airtight bags. Look at this one. Now I'm using whole wheat and I'm doing spinach. I'm going to do one more so you can see what they look like. They're delicious. Let me do a big one. You know, Woo! I was going to show you. Can you see the inside? This, this piece broke off. Oh, no. Mmm. Now, so good. If you want salsa, hot sauce, go ahead and sprinkle it in there. Roll it over on its side. Sprinkle it in there. It's still delicious when you heat it up. Oh, let me do this one. I'm getting carried away. Just like that. Perfect little package. Let me get that. Mmm. Mm. Mine took a big bite. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you like it. Let me know. Let me swallow. Look how pretty that is. Let me know what you think. Try it out. Let me know if you switch up the flavors and we will see you next time. Talk to you later.